Hello and welcome to Chemistry Nuggets where you can polish your knowledge and clear those friends. Today's video is question number 2.10 from NCERT textbook class 11 and the chapter name is Structure of Atom. So let's read the question. Electromagnetic radiation of wavelength 242 nanometer is just sufficient to ionize the sodium atom. Calculate the ionization energy of sodium in kilojoule per mole. So friends here we have a photon of wavelength lambda which is given 242 nanometer which we can write 242 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter simply so the energy of the photon is equal to the ionization energy as they are mentioning here that is sufficient to ionize the sodium atom it means the ionization energy of sodium is equal to the energy of this given photon so if we calculate the energy of this photon that will then we will able to calculate the ionization energy that is equal so we have a formula for energy is equal to h mu but one more formula is there h c by lambda we will use because here the value of lambda is given but one thing we have to mention it is mentioned here it should be kilojoule per mole so per mole means we have to calculate in one mole of sodium atom simply to find in one mole we will multiply the energy with the avogadro number where n0 is a avogadro number now putting all the values we will get the ionization energy of 1 mole of sodium. So Hc by lambda into N0. So here H value H is a Planck's constant. Its value is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule per joule second multiplied by C speed of light. 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and N0 Avogadro number its value is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 per mole. Now this whole divided by lambda that is 242 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter. Now start the calculation meter meter second per second is cancelled. Collecting all the numbers together, 6.626 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 6.022 divided by 242 and putting all the powers together, 10 to the power minus 34 plus 23 plus 8 and plus 9. Plus 9 comes from the denominator side that is minus 9. When it goes up in the numerator, it becomes plus 9. Now after doing all the calculation we get the value 0 0.495 4945 into 10 to the power the power is so first we will do the addition 23 plus 8 plus 9 it becomes plus 40 and minus 34 it becomes plus 6. Now, so we can write the power 10 to the power 6 and the unit is joule per mole. But still, there is a twist. The answer should be in kilojoule per moles. So, this joule per mole we will turn in kilojoule with the help of dividing with the 1000. So, how to write it? Dividing with 1000, we will write it multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3. So we can write 0 0.4945 into 10 to the power 6 into 10 to the power minus 3 kilo joule per mole. Now we can see, check 0.4 if we shift the decimal we can make 4.945 and the power will be changed 10 to the power 6 and shifting rightward means minus 1 so 6 minus 1 it becomes 10 to the power minus uh, sorry plus 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 
so what we will get 5 minus 3 2 so final answer will be 4.945 into 10 to the power 2 kilo joule per mole so this is our final answer the ionization energy of one mole of sodium is 4.945 into 10 to the power 2 kilo joule per moles so friends calculation is very easy don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel till then thank you